Would you like to work smarter and not harder? Simply repurpose one video you already published to TikTok to all social media platforms. You work so much less and you just use one piece of content. So let me show you how to do just that. Hi, my name is Nicole Riley and I teach bloggers how to become confident marketers and grow their business. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification the next time I publish a new video or go live. So if you would like to repurpose one video you publish to TikTok to all social media platforms, you got to remember a couple of things. First, you want to make sure it's less than 30 seconds. That way you can really repurpose it to all platforms because Reels has a limit of 30 seconds. Now you could publish part of the video to Instagram Reels and then just say, follow me on TikTok to see the rest but that's usually not really fun for the audience. So make sure your video is less than 30 seconds and that way you can use it for all platforms. One more little important tip for YouTube, for YouTube shorts, which can go up to 60 seconds, you wanna make sure you have no copyright music on there at all. So the idea thing is you wanna scrape it off and you can do a voiceover if you wish to do so uh, for YouTube short specific but it's a very, very important that you don't have any copyright music for YouTube at all on that specific video. So let me now show you what I'm talking about and how I do this, okay? So here you can see my TikTok profile for my crochet business, right? So I have here published several videos. Some of them do really well, some of them don't, right? It's just, that's how TikTok works. Um, so here you can see on the left side, if you can see the one that's this little yellow and green, right? So I'm crocheting a little um, swatch right there in a technique called uh, C2C. And that is literally um, a quick video that's less than 30 seconds long. And I published it on TikTok. When you publish something on TikTok, it gives you the option of saving it on your device. So that's what I do. So that way I don't have to download or anything. It, while it uploads to TikTok, it also saves it on my device. So once I have that and it's saved on my device, I go to Instagram and you can see it right here. I published the exact same video on Instagram as an Instagram reel. I literally don't edit anything. <laughs> I just leave it as it is, as long as it's less than 30 seconds, and I publish it right there. I have a different caption. It allows me to add more hashtags, right? On TikTok, there's kind of a limit on how many hashtags you can add. It's actually more of a uh, character limit, so you can add quite a bit of information there. Uh, a lot of hashtags, I, I suggest three to five hashtags, usually with some kind of one sentences, short sentences of what you're actually doing. So then you literally publish it here on Instagram Reels. You can add up to 30 hashtags. I usually do 28, 29 hashtags. And you can see that right here. And remember the hashtags, you can put in a comment section if you wish to do so. I like to keep them there. I know some people don't like it for aesthetic reasons, you know, don't look pretty. I get it, you can make a little bit of a break, right? Some periods in between and push it a little further down. Fine with me too. When you do have it in the captions, it can allow you to also publish it to Facebook. Now you can publish it without the hashtags, but I noticed that when you do publish it with the hashtags, it can help you a little bit, especially if you publish it directly from Instagram over to Facebook. So how does that work? I don't upload it to Facebook natively. I literally post the Instagram reels and then publish it right there over to Facebook. So how does that work? You see on top here on the right, right above my um, reel, you can see these three dots. You click on the three dots and then you can see the share button. So I click on the share button and it gives me the option to publish it to Facebook, to my Facebook page. Now, of course you have to be connected first. Both of them have to be at least business accounts. My Instagram is a creator account, um, but yes, you can from there directly publish it to Facebook. Here's the cool thing. You can also publish it to Twitter if you wish to do so, or um, Tumblr if you wish to do so. However, it might be just a link, right? So not directly the video because it's now an outside platform that you're publishing it to. When it's in Facebook, because Instagram and Facebook are connected, you know, one owns the other, you can literally publish it over and the video will appear on Facebook. So that's how I do it right there. Now, that is now done. I published to Instagram Reels, I published it to Facebook. Of course, I shared it to my Instagram stories to get even more traction on it, right? 
And then after that, I go to Pinterest. I literally go to Pinterest and upload it to Pinterest. And you can see the video right there on the left side. That was the last Pinterest pin I uploaded. Pinterest recommends about one Pinterest pin, um, story pin per week, story pin. Not everyone has stories. It's currently still in beta as of making this video, but you can request it if you have a Pinterest business account. And once you do, you can use it and upload it. You can see on the top left, I, it, sees a number, it says a number two right there. That means I have two slides in that story. Five is ideal. I didn't have time for the last few to make a lot of them. So, but you can see some of the older ones have a lot more slides. So it's recommended to do at least five. I did two, still did really well, okay? But very important is that you put that video, that less than 30 second video, onto the cover of the Pinterest story. You can't change the cover after it's published. Very important to remember that. So don't do any typos or some mistakes in there. You can't edit that. You can edit all the other slides though, if you wish to do so, just not the cover. The cover is permanent. Once it's published, it's permanent. You have to, you know, start over if you made a mistake. So now that I have that on Pinterest stories, which is really cool, it gets it out there. It doesn't have a link. It doesn't take you anywhere. You know, like you can't add a link to your website or something like that, but you can tell them to follow you or go to your profile to go to your website. So I have that video now there. What I did then is I scraped the music off because I had music on there because it does help you when you're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, possibly even Pinterest. Don't know exactly yet how much it can help you on Pinterest, but the music does help you get more seen, right? However, it is not allowed to do that on YouTube as a YouTube short or any YouTube video in per se, unless you have the license to the copyright music. So because I don't, I literally scrape the music off and then just publish the video without anything pretty much. So right here, I have a video. It's a vertical video, has no copyright music on it. It's less than 30 seconds. So when you just simply add your title, right? Hopefully it has good SEO keywords. So be actually be shown, but very important for a YouTube short, which is pretty much like a TikTok, a real, you get the gist, right? Um, you want to add shorts at the end of the title shorts, very important shorts with an S not short. Um, and you can also add it into your description which I usually do too, just in case to cover all my bases. They say either title or description, I add to both. So, and then you publish it. I highly recommend you go into uh, to your computer and then add a custom thumbnail and possibly turn on ads if that's what you have, you know, at least earn from that video that you published. So now you published it to all platforms using one video, one piece of content you published to TikTok. So you worked once to get that TikTok video really awesome. Then you downloaded it, right? Automatically saved it to your device so that you can publish it to Instagram Reels, then over to Facebook. You can use the same piece of content for Pinterest stories or just a normal pin if you wish to do so. And then of course you scrape the music and put it on YouTube. You can literally take that piece of content and spread it out throughout the week. So let's say that's five different platforms. So you start on Monday with TikTok, Tuesday, Instagram, Friday, Wednesday, uh, Facebook, Thursday, let's say Pinterest, and then Friday, YouTube shorts. And you can literally use that piece of content for all those platforms all at the same time, like publish it all at once, you know, within an hour or so, or you spread it out throughout the week. So then the following week you start that over and you only work once to make that video. How awesome is that, right? Work smarter and not harder. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment and share this video with your friends who are also bloggers or people who want to become marketers because you can also become a confident marketer and grow your business even more. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell to get a notification the next time I publish a new video or go live. I hope to see you then. Until then, bye.